The CEO of Cloud Solo, Samantha Morris, called into our office one day and she wants to get a better sense of how the employees communicate, what options the organization has to facilitate efficiency. And we let her know that Google Apps has some great features already incorporated through Google Contacts. Google Contacts is a way to store and organize contact information about the people you communicate with. Each contact contains basic information like names, email addresses, and phone numbers. You can also include extended information like physical address, department, or job title through two different types of contacts within Google Apps. First, there's Google Directory Contacts. This is domain-wide contacts list managed by your administrators. Think of it like a shared address book for your whole company. It lists contact information for your domain users. You can also include external contacts such as contractors and suppliers and even calendar resources. This type of shared directory is known as the global address list and other systems like Active Directory. This is similar to Google Apps Directory. Google Apps Directory is available to everyone within the domain, but only if the administrator has enabled contact sharing. The other types of contacts are each user's My Contacts. My Contacts is a list of personal contacts that each individual user manages. This is where users could store the details for their friends and family or business contacts that don't need to be shared in the shared directory. Users add contacts to this list manually or by copying and saving entries from the global Google Apps directory. My Contacts are private and are not shared with other users. The user can add, edit, and delete these contacts and contact groups using the contact manager. Although these two types of contacts are managed separately, the information is merged in the display. Users see a single profile for each contact entry when viewing information in the contact manager or on a mobile device. Users can also synchronize contacts between Google Apps and a mobile device to see contacts outside of the browser. Google Apps has built-in or autocomplete functions that make contacts available across all of Google Apps. When addresses are typed into the address field in any app, you'll see the email address and you can narrow down the address. Company con shared contacts as well as users' personal contacts will appear in the field, as will any group created for the domain. However, these groups will not show up in the contact manager. Now that Sam better understands contacts, she wants to make sure that contact sharing is on for everybody in Cloud Sola. We let her know that the contact sharing service is on. Contact sharing is on by default. As the admin, you can refine the contact sharing settings by going to the admin console, clicking Google Apps, and then Contacts and Sharing Settings. Here you can specify which email address to include in the shared contacts list what is shown in the browsable directory in the contact manager and even disable contact sharing for the whole domain. Also you have the option to hide a particular user from the Google Apps directory. If you want to prevent users contact sharing information from appearing in the autocomplete function in all of Google Apps or the search function in the contact manager, simply find the user in the list, go through their user information and uncheck contact sharing just for that individual. Suspended and deleted users do not appear in the default in the directory by default. Users personal contacts are not included in the directory either and are not affected by changes made to the contact sharing settings. It may take up to 24 hours for any change you make in the contact sharing settings to appear in the Google Apps directory. Sam then tells us her life would be a whole lot easier if she could share her contacts with her assistant Ellie. And luckily for her, this can be done by delegating Sam's contacts to Ellie. Contact delegation allows the user to delegate full access to their contacts in their personal My Contacts group without granting access to, to their mail or anything else from their account. This is a common delegation practice between some executive users and their assistants and may be used in a situation where a user wishes to share all of their contacts with another user. To do this, have Sam go to her contacts manager, click the more pull down menu immediately above her contacts list and select manage delegation settings. 
in the add people text box simply enter in the email address of Ellie and click share and save to finish granting Ellie access to Sam's contacts before users can delegate their contacts contact sharing must be enabled in the admin console as a Google Apps admin you can manage and edit the Google Apps directory in several ways you can interact with the Google Apps directory using the API to integrate Google Apps as an alternative you can use APIs you can use also explore the Google Apps marketplace for products that can help you manage contacts through a user-friendly interface but be aware that Google does not provide support for the third-party software and SAS Tech will outline any of its partners in the help desk website another option for your users managing and editing Google Apps directory is using the Google Apps Directory Sync or GADS tool. It's important to note that any change made to account information is reflected in the Google Apps Directory automatically. This includes actions like renaming users, adding an alias, changing users group membership, or allowing users to sync contacts with their phone. Only an admin can make changes using the admin console or developers API. Some best practice for admins to ensure the best performance of contacts and the Google Apps directory are restricting the number of external contacts to avoid reaching any domain limits and using Google Groups or Google Groups for Business in conjunction with contacts which allows for greater flexibility in how users can communicate and collaborate with each other and with people outside your domain. See the Help Center article for more information on how you can best manage your domain's contacts. But remember, only an admin can manage the Google Apps directory. Your users, they have their contacts manager to find the people they want to reach. Here they can create, edit, delete, and search any domain users, shared contacts, calendar resource, or group. This is where they also manage their own personal My Contacts list.